textbooks have become political football. Well, that is the big breaking news that we are getting you where the Karnataka textbook revision row is concerned. The Karnataka government pushes for textbook revision. While the Karnataka BJP delegation is all set to meet the governor, Karnataka BJP opposes the textbook revision. The BJP delegation is set to meet the governor this evening. Well, that is the big breaking news that we're getting you at this point in time. See, all the former primary and secondary education minister and the higher education minister, we came together to have a meeting to discuss about the revision of the textbooks. So the new government, without understanding the issue, they are trying to revise. Even if they want to revise, let them bring in the public domain what revision has been done, so that the people let them know what has been added, what has been deleted. So let us discuss later. Are you planning what to is protest, sir? Are you planning to raise this also with the government? No, first we are trying to sensitize the government, make them understand whatever you are trying to do, Whatever present syllabus is there, content is there, it is fair enough. Even if you want to revise, please bring it in the public domain. Then later on we can decide what needs to be added, what needs to be deleted. This is a simple, simplest request what we are asking the government. After that we will decide what needs to be done, how we need to face, how we need to counter. We will let know the, our plan of action. My colleague Imran is joining me live right now to get us more details. Well, Imran, take us through what is the plan of the BJP over here because clearly the Karnataka government has decided to do away with certain sections from the textbooks and they are going to go ahead with the revision process. Well, there is an uh, issue of revision of textbooks is happening in Karnataka, whereas the earlier BJP government had removed certain chapters and reduced certain important political figures, especially Tipu Sultan's role in the Karnataka. And uh, according to BJP that time, it said Tipu was uh, was a bigot and there was, he doesn't deserve that much of uh, a space on a text, textbooks as being accorded to him. And they blamed the secularists and the Congress government earlier for that. And they reduced the Tipu's chapter and also several revisions were there and they made an additional chapter was uh, supplementary was also added to the education now the congress government has come back and uh, a group of uh, historians and uh, and activists also uh, gave a memorandum to the congress government uh, saying that the bjp had made a lot of difference in the in the history textbooks and the congress government should re re review the, the textbooks and uh, and uh, look at the ch changes done by the bjp government now there is a there is a lot of contestation on several issues regarding the uh, history textbooks in karnataka the bjp has a certain version uh, on it and the Congress says that this is uh, a lot of communalism was added into the history textbooks and especially the chapter on Hegde War, the founder of the RSS also has a contentious issue whereas uh, BJP calls him as a patriot but sections of co Congress leaders and, uh, and academics feel that uh, there is, he has a very uh, uh, checkered history and it should not be given as much as importance. Uh, regarding that, the Kannada government has said that they will set up a review committee. Over this issue, there is a contestation happening and BJP uh, had a meeting today of the former uh, education minister and several senior leaders. They are, they are going to meet the governor over several issues. One of the issues is about revision of textbooks. They say that if the Congress government goes ahead with it, they'll carry out protests across the state.